Let's talk about something that everybody does, even nuns and Santa Claus. It's masturbation. Okay, I grew up Catholic, so I've had to undo years and years of programming that tells me wrongly that masturbation is not only a sin, but it's a hellfire damnation ticket. And listen, it's not that. It's wonderful. It's fabulous. Yes, my penis gets chafed sometimes, but so do my elbows. Love Honey provides the sweet nectar to ensure that my self-pleasure session boils to a full simmering crescendo. They have so many wonderful products that can elevate your solo and shared experiences, giving you sensations you will can't even dream about. It's like Hellraiser, except heaven. It's like they lower heaven right into your bedroom. Love Honey isn't just a lifestyle, it's also a brand. They're the world's biggest online sex toy and lingerie store. They have the most incredible array of mind-blowing products. Speaking of mind-blowing, why don't you check out the Blow Motion, which is a male masturbator with vibrating suction power. Oh my God. Holy I love to masturbate because guess what? I'm my own best friend and sometimes it's just the three of us. Me, myself, I and love honey. All those sexy toys in my bedroom and we're just going at it. Me, myself and I and of course my deliciously large array of sex toys from Love Honey broiling in orgasmic depravity. And right now, lovehoney.com is offering our listeners 20% off your order when you enter code BALD20 at checkout if you use our link in description. That's lovehoney.com, L-O-V-E-H-O-N-E-Y, and use code BALD20 to get 20% off these delicious toys. Lovehoney.com, code BALD20. Go ahead, give yourself an orgasm. You deserve it, Helen. You did a great job at work this week, and you're not going to get a raise. Hello, it's Trixie. FX's American Horror Story NYC is the next installment of the award-winning anthology series American Horror Story created by Ryan Murphy and Brad Felchuk. You guys, I love this show so much. Whenever the like, opening credits start, boo, 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 you, I get up out of that chair. You would think that I'm at the club. You, that song is so important to me. But I'm excited for AHS NYC. There's two all-new episodes airing each week, and it promises to be a season like no other. AHS NYC stars returning favorites like Zachary Quinto and Billy Lord, along with some fresh faces including Russell Tovey and Charlie Carver. Something evil is coming. FX's AHS NYC is all new Wednesdays on FX. Stream on Hulu. Is this thing on? Check one, two, one, two. Hey, y'all. It's your girl, Kiki Palmer. This year is almost ending, but baby, I'm just getting started. That's why fresh out the oven, I'm proud to introduce to you my new podcast, Baby, this is Kiki Palmer, exclusively on Amazon Music. I'm putting my friends, family, and some of the hottest experts in the hot seat to ask them the questions that have been burning on my mind. What would former child stars be if they weren't actors? What happened to sitcoms? It's only fans, only bad. I want to know, so I asked my mama about it. Y'all hear what I'm saying? These are the questions that keep me up at night, and I'm letting y'all all in on it. Because, baby, this is Kiki Palmer, and no topic is off limits. Come kick it with me and my weekly guests as we go down the rabbit hole and dive deep into my mind together. Listen to Baby This Is Kiki Palmer exclusively on Amazon Music. Download the Amazon Music app now. From my mic to your ears. I'll talk to you soon, loves. You know it's your girl. If we are going to do a soundboard, we should do You Cock a Duty. Yeah. Whores. Um. I, I love I love that part in the um, not the Shining the misery misery when she's like talking about going to the weekly picture shows mm-hmm. and it looks like he's gonna die and the next week he's not dead and she's pissed mm-hmm. and she's like does everybody have amnesia <laughs> she's so mad he never got, got out of the, the cock a duty car <laughs> so good Annie Wilkes should do, be the continuity um a consultant on anything absolutely yeah. absolutely she'll be like Mwah. so we got to get annie wilkes cock a duty mm. we should get um, a veronica cartwright from witches of eastwick we whores should, whores spanish flies um and then also we should get uh julia roberts in my best friend's wedding fuck me do you remember she, you remember when she uh is introducing rupert everett as her as her uh, he flew in real quick to uh fuck me do you remember that no it's a perfect line reading it's so great it's very shocking Oh, because she's lying, and it's America. Oh, because she's pretending it's her boyfriend. Yes, and she's being so vulgar. Right. I think we should. We. I would also love something from Doctor Gorgeous. I would. Lo- There's so many good ones. I would love. You think they'd have the parking lot of America to go with the mile of America? Yeah. Catch it in your mouth. I'll give you a prize. Yeah. Catch it in your mouth. I'll give you a prize. Or you're cute. Ooh, you're cute. <laughs> yeah. 
Um, um, I would also love, um, I mean, we're not sticking to Alice and Janie exclusively, but maybe some of her from my Tanya. Oh, duh. Um, uh, lick you, my ass, Diane. She can do a triple. Lick my ass, Diane. She can do a fucking triple. What did she say? This is like not my words, but she says, you skated like a graceless bull dyke. Oh, I, I oh, was embarrassed for you. That's what her mom says to her. I, I think this show should have been called Graceless Bull Daggers. Yeah. Grace, you skated, skated like a graceless bull dagger. I was. Are we rolling? <laughs> yeah. Oh, thank God. Okay. So if you guys have any suggestions for our soundboard, uh, mm-hmm. I, you know what else? I mean, uh. this is kind of a throwback, but have you ever seen the movie? Um, Deuce Bigelow, male gigolo with Rob Schneider. No, I haven't. Okay. You know, he is dating women for money. He's okay. a gigolo. He's trying to make money. And now is that like a, is like a bizarro joke kind of thing? Cause well, he is house sitting for a gigolo, oh, a, so hot, a hot professional gigolo. God, and he and I think he accidentally one. kills his expensive fish and he's trying to like raise money to replace it or he's going to get killed. Right. Oh, so he starts, the phone starts ringing and he starts going on dates with these women and they're like different women. Yeah. One has like a sleep disorder. What they're all like wacky gals. Wacky gals with quirks. Um and I'm not saying this is aged well, but mm. they whenever he's on a date with this really tall girl, it, they do one of those jokes where like they only show her from like the chest down. Oh my god. Cuz he's really short. Right, totally. And always from like the back 40, you'll hear in the back of the scenes, that's a huge bitch. Oh my god. And I think when you and I talk about our drag, we could use that. That's a huge bitch. Because it has two things. When we mm. talk about our shoulders not fitting costumes or something, and when someone's being a huge bitch. Oh, yeah. Double meanings. Double entendres. So you can get a lot of use out of that. Mm-hmm. How about... um, um, Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Oh, I... Go. You know that news clip where the woman's like, we'll be back at five. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> because she doesn't know that they've cut. Yeah, yeah, They yeah. haven't cut. Or like Miley Cyrus. Let's get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they got to be short and snappy. Um, there's one I wish I could. There, you know, what there's do you certain wish? things I wish you could say on camera and you can't. It's not that I actually. I love that actually, because there you can't always get what you want. And that I, there somebody should write a song about that. No, 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 no. It'd be too easy, oh. too successful. Yeah, anybody who writes a song called "You Can't Always Get What You Want" should die. No, they should be tortured first. Absolutely. Yeah, you can't. Well, we're here in the house. We're here in the house. And it's, a, it's really salty because I went into the ocean today. You did? It was so hot here. I can't believe you. Did you know it was going to be warm? Did you plan ahead? No. I didn't so what plan if it had been all. 60? Would you have been? I don't know. I would, have, I would have fucked around and found out. But I went into a CVS on the way there because they didn't bring any towels. And I paid $48 for a couple of very thin towels. Ooh. When I swiped my credit card, I said, ouch. <laughs> and I bet you they were two-ply paper towel they with were, like graphics of palm trees. On they them. were printed out napkins. They were, yeah. And then they dissolved on my body and did not dry me at all. Yeah. So who'd you go with? Certain people, different people, many people. No, I went with Jason. We with the trainer. So we um we went and then you want to keep a low profile. At the, so you go with Jason. Yes, yes, yes. We'll I probably didn't, strutted out to yeah, the beach. We were papped incessantly the whole time. Well, we both wore speedos, and he's into nude beaches. I'm not trying to out him or whatever, but um he's into nude beaches. I'm not into nude beaches, so we met in the middle, and we both wore speedos. I'm with you. I'm pro nudity in general. I wish we lived in a society where people could just have. This is this is horrible. I was jogging through West Hollywood today. And I saw probably an unhoused individual mm. and she had both no, no shirt on, no bra, both mm. boobs out in the sunlight. Okay. And it didn't even shock me. And I was like, because I know her situation is different, yeah. but people should be allowed to just have their fucking boobs out. Well, let's start with nudity not being illegal. Hello. Let's, let's start there because it's uh, the human body is not a crime. The human body as it is, just as it is, is right. not a crime. No. But that's what, what we think of it. Don't get me started on nudity. But People should be able to like, well, I only well, have here's my the, underwear and flip-flops on. I'm just going to run into CVS. Like, go sure. buy your gum. However, um, they should not be able to sit their bare ass on your fucking white couch. Well, but real nudists have Towels. decorum and Towels. etiquette. Yes. Towels. We dream of someday possibly doing a nudist event at the motel. Who's and we? Would, Dave and I. Oh, okay. Not for us, but oh. because I think nudists need more places to go. And it would be like, People are already shower naked. Most people are sleeping naked. People are naked. Everybody's naked at all times. They just have fabric draped over their naked body. And what do you call? What's the rest of it? What do you call it? Drag. Drag. <laughs> all born naked, and the rest is drag. Oh my God! It's the anthem. <laughs> um, who do you think you are? Well, all born naked, and the rest is drag. I thought you were. I thought you were singing like the chilies. Uh, it sounded like a Chili's jingle or something. Who do you think you are? Come on down to Chili's and eat our wings. Do you like Chili's? 
I don't think I've ever been. I don't think so either. I, I will say this is horrible. I love Applebee's. <laughs> you were gonna say I killed someone at a Chili's. This is horrible. I killed someone <laughs> I at an Applebee's. A waiter at a Chili's once. I was a I was a franchise owner of a Chili's and I built it over a Native American um, <laughs> graveyard and, and then it was a haunted Chili's and, you had and a, that was tough. <laughs> no. Do you, I like any chain food if they if they'll serve me a burger with no cheese and schmutzla on it? Then I'm, I'm happy. Absolutely. There's a few foods that are always. It's always like a Southwest egg roll. What does that mean? I don't even know what that is. It's like a American Mexican version of an egg roll. But what's in it? I don't know. What's it's like in it. black bean, red peppers, melted cheese, like like taco tasting egg roll wrapped up in a, a crunchy egg roll. Yeah. Okay. It'll be like a pretzel with cheese, hot pretzel with cheese. It'll be like there's always a salad that's candied pecans and apple slices. All these things you're describing, I unfortunately won't eat, and that makes oh, okay. me it burns me up. Okay. Well, there'll always be a pizza, but it's a flatbread. They oh. love to call it a flatbread, like that's pinky in the sky. Because they think that's more classier. Yes, girl, just call it a pizza. It's a pizza. Uh, Italians fought the uh, the well. The very... They didn't win World War II for nothing. Hello. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Give them the moment. Give the Italians some shots. Their pizza's good and juicy. I'm trying to think of stuff like that. Like I've never been to an Outback Steakhouse. What are the other like sort? of... Olive Garden tea. Olive Garden is tea. The last time I went to an Olive Garden, the service was so quick. I thought that somebody had like I was living in a VHS tape and they had pressed <laughs> fast forward. Like the the waitress came over as like before we were there, sat down. The food was there before you it ordered. It was like it's like, wait a minute, did they just have everything made and they just immediately bring it out? The guy who brought it out was sweating. I think because the kitchen was hot, obviously, but he was dripping sweat, and we were in and out in like twelve minutes. We paid, Dream. we paid at the table. I was like, is this a sweatshop for food? Well, no, you know my biggest pet peeve. What? Because I was a server and, you know, I, I was a goody goody server too. I tried to do things by the book. I like reported my cash tips. I was like, just gross. Can you yeah. just quickly, I sat down at your table. What are you doing to me? Well, I'm coming up. Mm -hmm. I'm greeting you. But do it, please. I'm welcoming. I'm asking you if you've been here. No, Hi. Yeah. My name is Brian. I'm going to take care of you guys. Have you guys been here before? No. Oh, great. Well, our menu is kind of like this. What you never want to do is be that server who's like, we do things a little differently around. Girl. I was like, I don't want different. It's a restaurant. I want familiar. Thank I want you. food and I want Thank it you. fast. I said, but what, some one of the things that people, 100%, I, it's the first thing I notice, pre-drops, right? If somebody pre orders. Pre-drops? Yeah. So if somebody orders, let's say appetizers, they should have little plates and silverware. Way before the food comes. Right. If the appetizer comes and then you have to ask for silver and little plates, jail, prison, and jail. Yeah. I have the seam ripper and I'm putting it in my thigh. Girl, these yeah. are godless times. It's a godless restaurant. <laughs> so yeah. pre-dropping is a big one. I always am very impressed when a server, like, like if you order French fries, ketchup should be pre-dropped. Yeah. Things that you, burgers, ketchup. ketchup. If it's going to be a pizza meal, they should pre-drop like the Parmesan cheese, the red pepper. Like, yeah. you do know people will need with this. with the pizza or the, is that, that the dealer's choice? No matter how big the pizza, it's one hand. And then it's okay. You know, and and I, now you've sold me. Yeah. Pre-dropping. And then the other thing that I love when servers do is um, they print your bill after your entree and they have it ready to go. And that way, when you say, I think we're too full for dessert, they go, great. I they do. already have it. I do. Because I if do. they have, if you order, if you add something, it's just two seconds to add it. Two seconds. But now you've really impressed them, but you already have the bill. Anticipating needs. When, and these are all needs that are, that are very easily to anticipate. We're going to get hungry. We're going to pay. We're girl. We're going to get. We're going to hungry. We're going to play. And I also think um, letting drinks get empty. I mean, that's like pie in the sky. You don't want people's drinks to get empty. No. You don't I, want to. I want. But some, you don't want to like refill it the second they take a sip either. That's psychotic. No. There's a happy medium, and I think it's about being suspended from the ceiling via a trolley pulley thing with a pitcher. A hundred percent. And then you, because I don't want to see you when you're, you're pouring my drink, but I do want it to come from the ceiling. Absolutely. I got one of those like leather braided belts, so, and yeah. I have uh, two liter sodas, mm -hmm. grape, you yeah. know, we orange, diet, orange, um, Coke Zero, and whatever you want. It's like a little spigot. I have a really important question for you. What is it? Is Pepsi okay? Um, is Pepsi okay? Yeah. Have we checked on her? Have I we talked to Pepsi. <laughs> is Pepsi okay? Do we really know if she's okay? <laughs> the next time someone asks if Pepsi's okay, I'm gonna be. No, she well, died. I haven't, I haven't three talked weeks to ago. her today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, she has. Is Pepsi responding. okay? Well, you know, losing a parent. Yeah. It's always hard. You know, it's a third boyfriend, and I guess he this time he was real, but. Yeah. Yeah. Asking if, as if it's Nev Campbell and Scream. Yeah. Has anyone checked on Pepsi? Yeah. 
is Pepsi okay? We're really worried about her. We're worried. Pepsi, you're not yourself. You don't love to do the things you used to do anymore. That phrase took on so many different meanings and, and went into so many different neighborhoods in my mind because as we traveled through Canada, every time I asked for a Coke, always. And I always ask for a Coke. And sometimes in a lot of places in the US, Coke means soda. Yeah. Right. I said, I have a Coke, please. And they're like, is Pepsi okay? And I'm like, is it? Well, what if it's not? It, Go next door. It has exactly. to be. So, but I feel like you're legally required to inform the customer that it's not Coke. It is Pepsi. Although maybe half the people wouldn't be able to tell the difference. Well, some people, though, Pepsi Challenge. Of now, course. is that a good drag name? Pepsi, Pepsi Challenge? Well, Pepsi's not a name. That's the problem. Well, it depends who you ask. Yeah. You know, we know people named Milk and Bob. But those are weird people. True. <laughs> True. I, but you know, drag names need to be names. I can't believe we don't know anyone named Pepper Spray. That's really good. Pepper Spray really is, is that's good. Pepper's pushing it though, name wise though, because that's still a weird name. Tell that to Peppermint. That's, drag legend Peppermint. Trans person of color activist icon Peppermint. Go ahead and look in the camera and tell her she's fake. Her first name is Pepper and her last name is Mint? <laughs> yeah, she has fresh breath. Yeah. She's seasonal. <laughs> what about Minty Leaf? Is that That's a name? even better. <laughs> Minty Leaf, honey. I bet you a long haul <laughs> trucker of the flyover. I mean, this is not, this is not a name. Pepper Potts is, is a character. Pepper LaBeja is a chosen name. You know, these are all chosen names. Um, the other thing I have to say about is Pepsi okay is um, what, if it, if it isn't okay or if it is okay, that's an hourly worker. Don't break into your your type five comedy well, of like. Of well, uh, oh, hey, I Bob, guess I'll um, bend the rules of Brenda, the restaurant. Yeah, no. Drink the brown bubbly liquid yeah. and shut the fuck up. Yeah, give me my brown bubbly now. And by the way, I do I do prefer Coke, but even Coke is a lie. Coke is supposed to be a caramel flavored soft drink. Did you know that Coke is supposed to be caramel flavored? And you know what happened to Pepsi? They used to have all the juggernauts. They had Jesse Eisenberg's little sister in the commercials. They had Britney. They had Britney. They had Beyonce. They had Madonna. Now who do they got? They have Canadians. Who do hey, we got Pepsi. They have the entire country of Canada wrapped up in their icy claw grip. Yep. All those nice Canadians, too too polite to say no. Pepsi's not okay. You Is can Pepsi come here. Okay? You can come here and take our whole country, and we'll serve it to every visitor. Right. I want to do a true crime a true crime podcast mm -hmm. about Is Pepsi okay? Uh, let's ask Joan Crawford. Oh yeah! Don't fuck with me, fellas. I think that's where it all came from. Pepsi, she she strong armed that fucking brown drink, bull, bulldozed right over that cocaine uh, liquid, and then, oh god, this ain't my first time at the rodeo. You know, I hundred percent own Trixie Cosmetics, yeah. and I still walk in and scream. Yeah. I own fifty one percent. They're like, they're like, you've never been to a fucking rodeo, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> they're like, fifth. They're like, so 51. do we own the forty nine percent? Like, <laughs> what's very confusing. You should get a board of directors. Mm. Martin Scorsese, Catherine Bigelow, um, Sofia Coppola. Um, what are you perturbed by that? The food that just you arrived? brought Chipotle in. I didn't bring it. Um, Eden brought it. Was she You're getting Chipotle today? What's your Chipotle order? Um, it changed. Oh, it's changed. Yes, it's all sourdough. I'm not sorry. Sour cream with a little bit of queso. Oh. No fork. <laughs> <laughs> the way I tried to imagine that and then realized it wasn't feasible. I was like, so she's getting a cup of sour cream mm -hmm. and then eating it with a fork. <laughs> No fork. I told oh, you. Oh, no fork. Uh, Just a sip. Hot mug. Listen to me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let's take a break. Hi. What's the first thing you do when you wake up? Is it checking up on your credit score? Didn't think so. When I wake up, I like to brush my teeth or my mom gets mad. And chime. That's exactly what they do. With their secure Chime Credit Builder Visa credit card, you can start to build credit with your own money. I don't have a lot of money because I'm just a little girl. <laughs> Chime reports your payments to credit bureaus to help you build credit over time. Their members see an increase of 30 points on average. I can count to 30. I learned it in school. All of this with no annual fees, large security deposits, or credit checks to apply. I have an uncle who had bad credit, and so he never got married, so I don't have any cousins. So at Thanksgiving, I sit by myself at the kids' table, because I'm a little girl. If only he had Chime. If I could turn back Chime. So start your credit journey with Chime. Sign up takes only two minutes and doesn't affect your credit score. Get started at Chime.com slash bald. 
That's Chime.com slash bald. The Chime Credit Builder Visa credit card is issued by the Stride Bank NA pursuant to a license from Visa USA Chime checking account and $200 qualifying direct deposit required to apply for the secure Chime Credit Builder Visa credit card. Regular on-time payment history can have a positive impact on your credit score. Impact to score may vary and some user scores may not improve. Out-of-network ATM withdrawal fees may apply except at MoneyPass ATMs and a 7-Eleven or at any AllPoint or Visa Plus Alliance ATM. This show is sponsored by BetterHelp Therapy Online. You know, I wish life came with a user manual. I know relationships don't. I know careers don't. And I certainly know other stuff also doesn't. <laughs> and, and I wish it did. But honestly, nothing's that easy because nothing's ever not complicated. But it can get a little less complicated with some good old-fashioned talk therapy. BetterHelp has connected over 3 million people with licensed therapists. It's convenient, secure, and accessible anywhere. 100% online. I can tell you for me... Online therapy is very ideal because I don't drive and I don't know how to get anywhere. And so being able to access help from my phone at home is life-changing. Saving myself a trip to a real doctor's office by having, you know, an experience over the internet. Everyone deserves to feel their best. Okay, BetterHelp makes it easier to get started. As the world's largest therapy service, they've matched millions of people with professionally licensed embedded therapists available 100% online. You just fill out a brief questionnaire to match with the therapist. And if things aren't clicking, you can switch any time. Okay? I mean, who hasn't stayed with a therapist they didn't click with for 12 years, you know? No waiting rooms, no traffic, no endless searching for the right therapist. Get unstuck with BetterHelp. Learn more and save 10% off your first month at BetterHelp.com slash bald. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash bald. And we're, we're back. back. So, and we're still talking about Pepsi. Sorry, guys. I love Chipotle. I lo- it's one of the only kind of like, oh, I just keep spitting on myself. That's cool. Yesterday at Netflix, Jennifer went, Trixie. Oh, yeah, you, you did spit you on yourself. Dab your chin. You did. So what's that about? I drool. No, I, I'm a heavy drooler, but only in my sleep. But how do I get spit above the lip? That gravity. Let's ask Sandra Bullock. You know what it was? Yeah. I, right when I spit, I did that smile thing where I head upside down. <laughs> And that's how I spit on myself, Mama. That's that's a death drop. That's a death drop. That I thought. Imagine being able to do that at the gig. Like you're doing, um, you're doing the Pointer Sisters jump. Yes. Yeah. Tell me how you love me, and then you right at the Hamburger Marys. Jump. <laughs> jump. Oh my love. Jump it. I mean, there's got to be a song about going upside down, or like. Um, Absolutely, there um, is. Yeah. Paloma Faith, upside down. Mm-hmm. Or what about um, uh. Upside down, down, bouncing oh. on the ceiling. Will we get sued. No, what? no, this isn't YouTube. Well, <laughs> it is YouTube. We're gonna get sued on YouTube for singing, Mark. That sucks because I had been rehearsing a whole forty-five minute medley of um, uh, number one hits from the nineties. I'd love to, to see to you do it. Yeah, love to see you do it, gal. Mm-hmm. So wait, I went into the ocean this morning, <sighs> and I have to tell you something, mm-hmm. Miss Ocean, mm-hmm. that woman, that thing. Mm-hmm. We have no business in there. She will take it. One, she. Oh my God! It's ocean is scary. It's not our place. Not just scary. It is so powerful. The We're power, not supposed to be down there. No, because she will crush you like a fucking bug, bitch. She's like, oh, oh, you want to swim in here? No, it's not. Okay. I'm going to drown you. So effortlessly. Is this stupid? Like, how how deep could a human body swim before something bad happens? We're talking that, straight down. Oh, like depth. Oh my gosh. Because my iPhone can go under like five meters. I think. Well, you can go down, I think, five miles, but you have to be able to hold your breath for about 45 minutes. It's tough. So when people scuba dive, mm-hmm. like... The bends. Are, is this stupid? When people, like, are exploring the Titanic, mm-hmm. are they... Is it their bodies swimming around? No. James Cameron and... Um, what's his name? Uh, Ed Harris or somebody? James Cameron Mitchell. James Cameron Mitchell, um, as Hedwig, went down and had lunch in the Titanic during 9-11. I'm not are joking. Are you serious? I'm not joking. So James Cameron and... It wasn't, it wasn't Ed Harris. It was somebody else, another actor, had lunch on the Titanic while 9-11 Patty was happening. Harrison. No, I'm serious. Oh. They came up and 9-11 had happened. Isn't that fucking crazy? So they were like, you know what? We're in the... But you know no, what? No, people were like, we have some news. They're the one vacationing amongst the skeletons. Who's going down to the Titanic? Well, can I ask a question? The movie makes it look like a lot of the people on the boat were not rich. Mm -hmm. Is that true or was it all rich people? Obviously, some people work on the boat, but there wasn't like moderate wealth people on the Titanic. Was it all like... No, it was very... It was was either frou-frou-frou or very dirty uh, dirty face poor, but all the dirty face poor were so hot. Well, Hot, that's like Leo the thing. DiCaprio. That's the thing. Uh, you know what I love? I love when he turns around and goes, you want to go to a real party? 
We got to get and that he brings as the a sound G out. effect. Yeah. yeah, they go down to the down to steerage. They drop the G, and the hand goes on the window. The way That's when I was a kid, hand. the way I could have rolled my ankles trying to do that standing on a toe trick she does for the people. Don't you remember the part where she's like, "You think you're all really tough?" And Kate Winslet stands up and she, because she's like a, a proper ballet girl and she can do point. So then she slowly raises up onto her two pointer toes on on the, on the ta- the dining room table. No, they're downstairs in like the the Irish music party. Oh, wait, all right, right. The, the real, Men in Music Conference. The Men in Music Music down in Orlando. Down in Orlando at the Men in Music Business 17. Conference. <laughs> <laughs> I still can't believe that that bitch released that song. Down in the Men in Music Conference. Down in Orlando, I'm alone in the world. Do you ever think that she's just test- I, she's just trying to push the fags as far as she can before they snap? <laughs> yes, and so many other things. I think that she think I think that she does so many things, and that we will never be we will never even begin to understand those things. So I, many things. I think that she probably posts some of that stuff, and she's like, people think this is so serious. Look, look oh, I, look. I think it's even crazier than that. She's like, I've got an idea. She's like, I'm. Why don't I really fuck with people today? Yeah. yeah so she she wakes up, the eye mask comes off. She's like. Let's fuck around. Well, the power, the power that that has, the international implications yeah. that that has. Yeah. Imagine if Beyonce just woke up and put a one slide on her Instagram that said, tonight. Of course she does that. What would it mean? We would but be she like, does do is that. she putting on a record? But she does is do she, that. Um, is she going to um, Is she going to turn, a, baby? turn like, a school into a meat factory? Right. right. Mm. So, I mean, the power of that, you know. Down in the business conference. Oh, that, if you had a social media that wasn't drag mm. and you didn't do drag, let's mm. say you were Ben Smith who okay. worked at the Chipotle, yeah. and you had a socials, mm. what would you post? I would oh. hobbies, friends, family. No, I, I mean it's. Like, I, I was going to say something funny, but I wouldn't. Ha- I wouldn't have one. I don't think. No. I would either. No, I don't have one. I don't think. I would the either. only person, the only non-famous person's social media that I really, really enjoy, uh, Instagram, uh, is just. Um, I have a friend who has really great taste in artwork and uh she posts wonderful pictures of like na- nature stuff very but not like oh a big wave crashing or you know what i mean it's like gorgeous close-up things like what is that that's all but that's but who you know i don't know probably my asshole mm-hmm. pictures of my shaved asshole did you see that you know instagram doesn't like when gay things happen uh, of course but but, it, but like um, but kim kardashian can show her inner show and hole. outer outer labia show hole vulva but i know gay guys who like vulva. are remotely remotely mm. gay but revealing pictures so they'll do however, this and I then do, they'll do that and then they'll get flagged yes mm-hmm. however i do know gay guys who literally have broken the rules and then they're like instagram hates gays i'm like you were gooning yeah you, you just, had your foreskin tied to a doorknob and yeah. you were slamming it. Yeah, you had the Boston cream pie a girl. on the timeline. And like, Instagram yeah. hates gays. And like, you broke the rules of Instagram. But just go to Twitter, Mary. Go That's to Twitter. Go to Twitter.com and you can go literally post, you can post the whole 30 load weekend in full glorious display. Yeah, today's episode is sponsored by Twitter. Twitter, thank you so much for, allow, for allowing me to view in real time my neighbor get deep dicked by the whole hockey team. The tw- if Twitter, it's like, do you like violence? Mm. Do you like um, hate, truly hate culture? Mm. Oh, That's where yeah. the fans of something go to be mad. Mm-hmm. Twitter. Uh, yeah. They also go to Reddit too. There's Reddits for anything. Believe yeah. it or not. Yeah. I'm on the Watchmen Reddit. Of course, and, but that's that's <laughs> natural though. It, no, but it's is me. there a gooning incessantly about Watchmen Reddit? But the thing about <laughs> Watchmen is, <laughs> it mostly attracts like conservative right wing people. A lot of it. So like, because mm-hmm. some people read it and they get what they want of it. Some yeah. people are like, this is a a conservative manifesto. Well, they like the villains and something. And I'm gay on there. Like, ooh, pretty pictures. So yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, you know, Reddit's wild. Well, there's Reddit's I, for anything. There's re- yeah, Reddit. Um, wh- there's um, I guess porn is on Reddit. Oh yeah, there's one that I love called um r slash massive cock, and I don't even ca- and I don't even care about big dicks that much, so I don't know why I follow it. <laughs> why are you laughing? Everybody r slash worst, massive ch- cock. giant chickens. Like, <laughs> 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 like C O Q. But what I like, like about the Reddit porn is it's it it is just someone mm-hmm. waking up and choosing violence and taking a picture of their dick in their bathroom and posting it. Yeah, it, th- that is fascinating to me because I've never I've never done it. Not because I don't have you know I have very very photographical genitalia uh-huh. of course, but I, I don't I don't know. I guess I I liked um, the studio porn because it was so well lit and I love acting. But I guess I just go to the movies. <sighs> 
Oh my Why God. Why aren't movies sexy anymore? Dave and I were watching Scary Movie 5 last night. I don't recommend it. They um, five of those stinkers? Lindsay Lohan's in it. And <sighs> she plays herself in the beginning and she's having sex with an ankle monitor on. Yeah. Oh, shit. It's fierce. But does, does it like... What, what well, her, uh, Lindsay Lohan and Charlie Sheen are doing a oh like, shut the fuck up it's that's like not a, even funny well it's like a paranormal activity like there's cameras in their bedroom and they're trying to catch ghosts but they're having sex it was I mean those movies are so slapsticky it's really anything goes there, Max that's the Miller's one, in it who's dead now oh, Jesus it's wild God. wow what a, what a tasteless extravaganza it is that's it's the wild. one where there was a geyser of seminal fluid that propelled no, a woman one. into the okay that was like they started with that but it launched the career of Anna Ferris. Who turned that the, was her into the ceiling? Mary, can I just say on this channel, this this pod, <sighs> those movies are great, mm -hmm. okay. and they are great because a pretty unknown actress at the time was swinging big. Mm -hmm. Anna Faris said, "I know exactly what kind of movie we're making." Yeah, she I did. Had to play Broadway. It's yeah, amazing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you have to understand. She was probably like, you know. I guess I'm just gonna go for it because we're making something stupid, and yeah. if I, the lead, don't go big, yeah, yeah, because she's with uh, Regina uh, Regina Hall, mm -hmm. who's also swinging so big in those yeah, yeah, movies. Yeah. God, they are so good, and they're female centered horror movies, which is great. Fake horror movies. Yeah, I there's um. Did you see X? You saw X, right? I did. Did you like it? It was fine. Yeah. I had questions. What What are the questions? Why are they killing these people? Who? Why is a woman killing people? Why are these people killing? Because these she's people? jealous. Jealous of what? Of her youth. That's she's jealous of being unfuckable. Jealous of what, Crystal? Your ugly leather pants. Exactly. She literally says she's jealous of the big titted blonde young woman, and she, because she's grown old and therefore unfuckable, and she's not at peace with that. She wants to get her pussy ate. <laughs> that sounds more like this dynamic: mm -hmm. an old woman being Un jealous of a young yes. blonde and big titted girl. I will kill anybody around me who tries to make a porno. Why do you think <laughs> all my friends are porno people? I'm playing the long game. Girl, you are. <laughs> You're like, I think you should do a slasher porn. Yeah. I think you I'll should play have the slasher. Have some more G. Yeah. Work. Yeah. Um, I just thought X was, you know, I did watch Hellraiser finally. Oh my God. Okay. 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 I watched it twice. I have a lot of opinions about it. Can I say that? I think it was, I love the original. Mm -hmm. I think it was better than the original. It made way more sense. Mm -hmm. the, the The gore was obviously incredible. The box was so transfixing yeah. because it changed shapes so many times. Yeah. And honestly, it just had more of a plot. Yeah. I love the first one, but you yeah. are a little bit like, why are we watching this? Exactly. What's going on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Although the 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 lead in the first in the, the original that girl mm. is great. Yeah. I mean, I think I was the second viewing. I I couldn't. Um, who is the the curly haired kid from Stranger Things? Because it looks like her his older sister. Oh, well, can I say, I know that she's a drug addict. Uh-huh. The hair was 75% covering her face the entire film. Kelly LeBrock with, like, a wind from at her back. Girl, Hagrid hanging upside down. Like, it was so crazy. It was so crazy. And I, I think, like, all those, um, my issue with the movie was, like, everything that didn't involve the Cenobites, I actually had no interest in. Not even a teeny bit. They were all shouting and telling telling us what they were going to do or, or what they needed to do. It's like, just go do it. Well, isn't that... Any of those movies, you wait for the, the spooky... Ex I mean, they wanted, you know what gagged me? What? When it's your time mm -hmm. and the walls start receding. Love and it. It, you base That was Love so... It. When that girl in the was in the hospital. Oh, and the, yeah, the woman. But you never and saw And she's her being again. wheeled down the hospital and mm -hmm. the walls start turning into brick. I'm like, work, bitch. Or when Nora's in the van and all suddenly the driver's seat is getting further away and it's the outside is red. I was like, ooh, something's Girl, going on. That's and, how I feel when yeah. I use a CBD foot oil. <laughs> yeah, you are doing 0 .005 milligrams of THC <laughs> and the, the chains are coming out. <laughs> yes. Oh my God, one time I was on tour with Laganja a long time ago. You know how the tour buses, they expand when you're parked yeah. and they shrink? Mm -hmm. um, Hellraiser. She <laughs> was seated and... It smushed her? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's how Laganja died. Yeah. No, it started moving and Laganja was really medicated and the room contracting while she was high without warning. Her face, I'll never, I'll try to do my best version yeah, of it, but it was like. <laughs> she couldn't handle it. And I, I remember going, it's fine. This is supposed to happen. And she was like, oh, you should, don't say that to someone like that. She, she was supposed so to happen. shook by it. What's happening? <laughs> yeah. Um, Miss Jamie Clayton, Pinhead. She, she turned. She it. took that party and she turned it right around. Girl, um, just, just, just the, a joyful note. Yes. And then she sticks that fucking pin through her fucking throat. Yeah. Yeah. It was crazy. Mama, further Can delights I... await. 
I understand that like these Cenobites are supposed to be like people who pain and pleasure are all the same to them. It's just extreme amounts of sensation, mm -hmm. right? That's what they're looking for. Mm. Who wants that? Well, so they're from another dimension. They're okay. from they're travelers from another dimension. And they're all I mean, to us, they're obviously like not great because whatever gifts they have to give us, they're not exactly pleasant. That guy with the hardware through his Mama, chest. Mama, the auto harp in him on his ner nerves, like crazy. Is so nasty. Crazy. So rude. And you know who he was, that actor? I uh, guess um practical magic. Practical magic yeah. by the way has not aged a day. What an attractive man. Although he was surfing the lady Claire all nice and easy. Mama, he's he's Serbian black yeah, black honey, number two. Honey. One B. She went down to La Brea Tar Pits. <laughs> Yeah. And dipped the back of her head in that tar. It was she had so nice and easy. Hair. Nice and easy. It was literally two pay, one B black. It was yeah. so funny. Yeah, it was a rug. It really was. <laughs> she was giving a rug. Also, it <laughs> it's it's sort of like as the human drag queen wig technology improves, the movie the movie wigs have not improved. Did so you? we're catching up. Mama, we've surpassed them. We're catching up. Mama, People who aren't even on the regular season of Drag Race are, are giving HD fantasy lace. I know. And fucking the Marvel Cinematic Universe is in is doing Scooby Doo. Girl, hard is, front Scooby Doo. That? UCB. <laughs> take the wig off the yeah, wall quickly. Cola Scola quick changes. That's Girl. what they're doing. It's like why I I've been looking at the House of the Dragon show on HBO, which is of course uh, uh, Game of Thrones. Act, like, but they all wear white. Many of the characters have white hair. Uh huh. So you can imagine the horrors that lie with the lace. Mama, this is a million billion dollar production, the best uh, production company in the whole world, uh -huh. and they're giving Boo Boo Party City dot com uh -huh. bargain bin yeah. after Halloween. What is that? When Tim Allen and the Santa Claus has unclockable HD lace, Mama, you can pull it together. If it, if there's a fantasy world that you're adapting for the screen and the characters have white hair, you got to say one thing. Okay, this this world is not real. This is not Ken Burns. We can take a little bit of liberty. We can do a low light. Do a bang. We can do a bang. We can we experiment with some texture. We can make it whatever we want. Just make it look good. Uh huh. People get hung. I think they get hung up on the good part. Well, now, I mean, I don't know if you're that person, but uh, when I, anything I watch, with, I go, "That's a wig." Wig. I said it That's out loud a wig. when we saw um, you know that one with the girl in the back, uh, with the thing in the back of her head. Oh, what was it called? Um, Maleficent. No, um, Malevolent. Male 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 Malevolent. Maleficent. <laughs> Malevolent. Malevolent. In the theater, me and Andrew at the same time Malignant. said, Wait, <laughs> Malignant. 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 At the same time, the only thing I never talk in theaters, me and Andrew said, Wig. Wig. Out loud. I know. Because Mama, she was wigged in for that. She was wigged for the gig. Wigging out with bobby pins. <laughs> That's what she's doing. We're going to take a break. Squarespace, baby. Hey. Ah. You're Hi, Tritzy. What do you love that square? Well, the great thing about a square space yeah. is it's a space that has yeah. four corners. What does it look like? What well, has four corners? How's the shape? And each side is the same length. Really? Yeah. A four? So when I first <laughs> opened my store, I did a designer line of uh, t uh, toe rings, toe mood toe rings. Toe rings, yeah, for the and, feet. And you could tell what mood my feet were in at any given time. But they were always blue. But they were always blue. Yeah, I'm happy. to be green. And what I love about Squarespace is that I could make a website for myself or uh, or, dom or domain, which okay. is different. Yeah. Um, what are you doing? Selling the toe rings? Well, I sell the toe rings, and I'd have one of my favorite things about Squarespace is that you can. There's a lot of data. 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 So like oh, you can like see the traffic on your website. You can see what people are clicking. Wow. And what they're clicking after what they're clicking. So you know. So you know. Like what they want to click on. Exactly. <laughs> One of my other one of my other favorite things is that you can fully integrate a shopping experience. Wait, really? Integration? So, yeah, so people can buy stuff from your website. That's really, that's really major. They can even have access to completely secure payments. Wait, totally secure? Totally Not gonna get secure. robbed ever? Not gonna get robbed. Wow. Nobody wants to get robbed. Nobody gets robbed on Squarespace. I one time got robbed. Yeah, not on Squarespace. Yeah. yeah. I, I love, love it. it. <laughs> I actually love it. I love it. I used to have somebody make my website, but every time I needed something updated, I have to get in touch with him. Yeah. And I'm always in Miami. Thank you. Always in Miami. <laughs> and last weekend, I was in Istanbul at the dentist. Oh, did you go to Turkey for the dentist? I went to Turkey for the dentist, girl. Wow. You're a jet setter. I got the face snatch. <laughs> so, and while I was there, I got to update my website. Head to squarespace.com for free trial. And then when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash bald to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. 
Head to squarespace.com for a free trial, and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash ball to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Shop through Rakuten for everyone this holiday season. Earn cash back for everything on your gift list, like clothing, shoes for the fashionista, toys and games for the little ones, electronics for the tech connoisseur, kitchen and home essentials for the ultimate host or hostess in your life, or just something for yourself. You are already shopping, so why not get some cash back? Rakuten is the smartest and most rewarding way to shop and save. You can earn cash back at over 3,500 stores. Membership is free and it's easy to sign up. Rakuten deposits your cash back directly into your PayPal account or they can send you a check. It's a no-brainer. You can earn cash back from what you already are shopping for. Start all of your shopping at Rakuten. Your cash back adds up. Rakuten has 15 million members who are already saving. Get the free Rakuten app and download the free browser extension. Rakuten also finds you the best deals, sales, and coupons. They do the work of searching for codes so you can save time and money. Rakuten pays you to shop. It's not too good to be true. Something I love about it is that I love holiday shopping, and I'm not going to lie, if I'm going to get something for someone, I want to know the best possible price. And I can tell you personally from a holiday shopper that the deeper you look, the more you're like, wow, there's always a different version of that final price somewhere else. It's a no-brainer. You're already going to be shopping for your loved ones. You might as well do it right and save a little money. Visit Rakuten.com or download the app to earn cash back when you shop at thousands of stores. You can start saving today. And we're back with Wigging Out with Bobby Pins. <laughs> Dirty Ted and Stephanie are wigging out on HBO Max. Um, they're given a visible lace with no glimmer glass, flat white hair, and the dolls are living. You know, not to take it back to air conditioning, but <laughs> um, we were filming at Netflix the last two days. Oh, it was too cold. I it came home and too took cold. a hot bath, and I had to wait for my feet to warm up. I was truly good. I was... You know, Aspen, I want, can, we, can we name drop Jennifer Coaches? I don't know how to say her Jennifer, last name. Jennifer, Jennifer, who's our director. Um, I believe she's not on Netflix. No, no, like, she's a pre- independent. She's contractor. an independent contractor, like kind of director, yeah. creator of our show, and she keeps us. <sighs> I think she's actually trying to teach us a valuable lesson about of how too, too much of a good thing. <laughs> no, she's talking about, she's trying to preserve us because she thinks we're dead. She's waiting for us to go on coal so she can go, oh, really? Yeah, that's hmm. interesting. That's interesting. Fina, the, our, Fina Barbatal, who does our hair and makeup, um, she was doing my face yesterday and she goes, what foundation do you have on? Mm. I said, uh, the, you know, I told her and she was like, it looks great. I said, it's because I'm unable to perspire mm, yeah, or yeah, produce yeah. sebum. Like when you do, when you do, um, spray paint a corpse, they don't move. They know? don't move. They don't move. It's really crazy. You yeah. know, it was wild. I actually uttered the words, it's too, I'm too cold right now. And I was like, who am I? Where am I? It's really What's cold. What's going on? Yeah, yeah. It's really cold. Well, you know. Um, wait, wait. There's, some, uh, there's several other things that I wanted to mention to you. I want to talk about it too. Whatever <laughs> it is, I want you to talk about it with me and I want to connect with you. I want to hear your voice and look in your eyes and know the things you think when I'm not around. I want you to agree or disagree. Uh, but yeah. I want to <laughs> reta- respond, retaliate. Retaliate? And, yeah. But wait, I hope you don't do conjecture or conflama. <laughs> do you like war? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Why? Well, guess where I'm going. Where? Miami. Oh, that's right. I'm going to see. Okay, I'm putting this out there. You listening? Is this thing on? Um, I'm going to see uh, a Svetlana Loboda. It looks like Loboda, so let's just say Loboda. I've been calling it Loboda. Well, she did an Italian special. Every year they do an Italian special. They've only done two, but um, in her Italian version of her name is Loboda. So let's just call her that. So Loboda. Loboda is definitely sexier. It's Labada. Labada. It's weird. It's such a weird thing to say. Anyways, um, so she's doing a concert. She's coming to LA, but we're in Poland. Is that Warsaw, right? Yeah. What is that? She's coming well, to LA, but we're in Poland because we're Ships busy. In the night. Yeah. We're, I just got invited to. Um, Mateo had an extra ticket for like a, a a bear thing on a cruise, and I was like, I would love to go get drunk with a bunch of bears. Of course, we're working. I literally thought there were grizzly bears. That's no. what I thought. I was like, a bear. What are you going to? Like bear traps and like hunting on a boat with bears. I love the bears. And you know, I'm not a bear, but I'm an ally. And so I'm like the straight girl. <laughs> well, you're a bear a, admirer. Yes. Yeah, but yeah. at a bear club or a bear event, mm-hmm. I'm the straight girl at a gay event. Totally. I'm like penis necklaces. I have like little bear <laughs> it's necklaces. It's your bachelor party and you're screaming. Yeah, I showed up with some fettuccine Alfredo. I'm like, let's eat boys. Yeah, let's- bears love food, diva. <laughs> but bears are nice, funny, they love drag, and they're body positive. That's a great generalization i think they are i've never been jilted by a bear clearly no do people get jilted by bears are you saying that hairy people hairy people are all nice 
No, I'm saying people who go to bear events. Okay, yeah. People who want to go, they want fun disco. And you know what? Yeah. There is no mass time for mask for mask at a bear event. It's like right. we all look like construction Mama. workers, yeah. but we are fags. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, let's yeah. have fun with it. Totally. We're it's, all, it's all like, it's, it's like, um, it's the zoo mama. Let's have a laugh. Yes. Yeah, 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 I yeah. love bear events for that mm. reason. But anyway, just, we don't, we have no, listen, through the rest of the year, you and I, would we get back from tour mid December? You know what though? I think we have most of January off. And Don't just say that out loud. Don't just say that. No, they'll, I, hear I promise, they'll hear you. I, I, shh, shh, shh. <laughs> they'll hear you. No, shh, shh. I promise to you. No, I promises. Mama promises. We got to do. We'll do the, the pod and stuff, but like, we won't be traveling. We won't be exerting ourselves. And I promise you, they're gonna hear you and they're gonna come make us work. You know? <laughs> I'm like an abusive husband who's like, baby, you shouldn't have made me angry. You yeah. know how I get. Yeah. Well, you shouldn't have said you had time off because then I wouldn't have made you work. Yeah, I've no. been saying no to a lot of things. I've said no to some really. Like what? crazy paying things too, because I'm trying to be more like, no. Are you so? Are you making a conscious effort to enjoy time alone, or are you just um, padding your schedule so that you can be more present at your gigs? I have been because of touring, mm. the makeup company, the mm. motel, my bar in Milwaukee. Mm. There are just things that I've been like not present enough for, and mm. I should really be there. And so next year is going to be about YouTube and the pod with you and mm. uh, mm. but like. Girl, we can't be running all over the place anymore. But I love to tour. Mary, I think by the end of the year, you and I will have actually been out of our homes more than six months. Are yeah. we in selective service? No. I, mean, I love touring. Mm. You love to tour. But, but you but go like, through hell touring. Balance. Yeah, I'm yeah, interested no, no. in balance. Yeah. It's a funny thing. Um, it's not very relatable. Or um, But uh, when I hear people like Janet Jackson and like, um, you know, mega huge, crazy, rich stars, yeah. Who can have anything? Tom Jones. Tom Jones. Um, uh, Siegfried and Roy. Right. One of them. One of that. He got uh, eaten by the lion. Did he really? Was it Siegfried or Roy? Do you like magic? Not really. Okay. <laughs> I gotta tell you something. Why? The Property Brothers, who I did, they're doing Jackson magic with, now. No. So oh. one of them, when, before they did renovation, one of them I believe wanted to be a model, and the other one wanted to do close-up magic. And I have to tell oh, you, no, 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 no. I love magic. We got to think of another name besides close, close up. up magic. Do you know what that's called? That's what? called Slide pickpocketing. Oh. Close up magic is either pickpocketing or like showing your weenie. The other day I sat here and ate some weed and I watched somebody's cruise ship magic show with a bunch of birds. I sat here just like this. <laughs> I looked like in The Shining when Dick Halloran gets that shining call in bed and he's like, you look like the the parents in Midsommar. The girl, <laughs> totally, totally. But. Magic is so cool when done well. When done well, it's amazing. The right music, the right lighting, yes. the right costuming. Yeah. My God. And but you got to think, the lifetime of practice to do these things and make them seamless. I know. I can't even zip an invisible zipper. It's crazy though, but it, it, it's it's one of those things that it's it has to be perfect or it it is completely bad. You know what I mean? Like I know. Something like if, if a, 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 say Gabby Douglas does a, 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 a whip back to a triple full, if she maybe she has some bent knees, but she still get lands it and takes one small step back. Right, still did it. That's not magic. Magic, if you see the the trick, it's all done, and the illusion is wrapped, and you're a fraud, and you fail, and you're done forever. Well, and this was a, this was a show with um centered around birds doing the, some of the magic, and so animal well, slavery. No, no the, <laughs> the animals don't have top hats and like magic. Oh, wands. thank God. Okay, I'm right. saying like let's bring this lady up here. Can I see your wedding ring? And then the bird flies away, and later they find it in her pocket, like shit How like do that. They do that. Well, you have to, that's what I'm saying. It's already the variables of human error. Now you're adding animal error and oh audience interaction. Listen, and the I'm weather. never going to do magic. Please don't. I'm never going to probably see a magic show. Good. But shout out to the magic people. David Blaine, um, uh, David Copperfield. All and the David. David Silver. David Silver. Um, David Attenborough. Mm -hmm. He does a lot of bird magic. And um, yeah, just everybody named David. Good job. David Attenborough. Is that the animal guy? No, he was. Uh, yes. The BBC. He talks about like this animal is yeah. dead and blah, blah, blah. This is the spotted dick feathered Worthington and native to the Aboriginal. Interesting. Yes. Um, tell me well, something that you've. No, no, we're not done. I'm still oh. talking. <laughs> Excuse me. Sorry. Um, I want you to tell me about Madeline Ash. <laughs> um, what do you think about the whale? Like as an animal? No. I'm the movie from Darren Aronofsky in which Brendan Fraser dons an enormous fat suit to play a gay man who is obese and is called the whale. Are you kidding me? No. I would love to see it. Okay. I know that's a problem. Why is it a problem? 
Well, I don't think that people are probably encouraged to wear fat suits for comedic effect at this juncture. I don't think it's a comedy. I'm pretty sure it's a drama. Are you kidding? I'm not kidding. Okay, now I'm actually more interested. Okay, it's based on a play, I believe. I love, listen, I saw this play in college called Fat Pig. Have you read this play? I love that name. It's about, it's called Fat Pig. And one of the major things in it is this girl, she's big, and she's dating a guy who's thin. And it's sort of like her. I can't watch that. But it's her, basically, this guy is pretty good to her. And she, but she's bringing in her own, like, assumptions of, oh, like, I see, I see. she has this whole monologue where she's like, you know, when we're together, I know how people look at us that you're skinny and I'm fat. And I know exactly, you know. And she talks so about, she's like, I, I love you. And, like, I would lose weight for you if, like, you know. And he's Holy he doesn't really shit. want her to. Right. Anyway, it's a very powerful play. When there's, when a girl, especially a young girl, say middle school, elementary school, whatever, you know, we've talked about the Don Wiener thing. If they're getting bullied for their weight, I almost can't. It's like, it's like a horror movie where I can't look at it. I know. It affects me so viscerally that I... I like I like oh this is how wars start because people get so angry they want to just kill and like dismember and like rip the skin off of people. Well, I mean we're the most vulnerable and open to suggestion and influence when we're young, and that's why things like that are so hard to deprogram because they hit when you were just a silly putty blob, and so everything makes an impact. It's so what sinks in. How are so how are children and, and young uh, young people so cruel? So unbelievably cruel. If I had a fat child, uh uh-huh. they would I swear to God I would do everything I could possibly do but to make what sure that can you do? You can't go to school with them. You I know was, what I mean? I you would can't go like, to school with them. I think I would be like, listen. What are you gonna tell them? If they're like, oh I want to be a model, I'd be like, you know what? There are very, very skinny models. There are very, very big models and mm-hmm. everything in between. Mm-hmm. We can, you can totally do it. Okay. And then in the world, like some kid call me fat. I would be like, well, people are all different sizes. Mm. But what if That's they it. said, but what if they said, um, actually six boys cornered me in the the bathroom, oinking, call me a fat pig and then peed on me. Well, then I would be in prison because I'd, I'd have to shoot kids. There you go. Now we're talking. The kids are awful. They're so fucking rotten. There are, uh, I know, so but you know what though? If you this is a call to the parents out there, and I'm not a parent. If you have a kid and you find out that they are the bully or making fun of someone, you need to come down like a hammer. Yeah, and talk. We need to talk about Kevin. You need to talk about Kevin, mm. and not just like punishment, like consequences. Tell them why they are really infringing on someone's happiness and how damaging. Like mm. this is like you know, I've never been more ashamed of you. You know. Yeah, but they my parents tried that with me. And well, it what didn't were you work. saying to kids? Well, I wasn't doing I was just I was just, you know, getting naked in class and doing the hoochie coochie on the desk. Well, <laughs> I just always think we're all animals and like I don't think there's any any no parenting style is the best and we nobody knows how to do it right. Isn't it's that true. scary? It's That's scary. why I don't want to have kids. I'm like, I know I will fuck this up. I know. I know we all love to be like, I'm gonna do everything my parents did. Um, Guess what your parents said? I'm gonna do everything yeah. my parents did wrong. Yeah, yeah. Like we're all trying to we're all trying to like out we're all trying to undo the errors of, of the previous generation by in be- just making more errors in the process. I can't wait for that big bomb or that asteroid to hit us and we all go bye bye. The human race is corny, tired, and played out. Played out. You know what? The human race is tired. And Armageddon is wired. The whale. The whale. Can I just get- <laughs> Darren Aronofsky of The Wrestler, Black Swan, Requiem for a Dream. But there was some controversy because I believe he was quoted as saying, it, well, it was hard to find a, a fat actor. There are no fat actors exist. You know, it's like, Mama, we get it. You needed a star to sell the movie, to put on the fat suit, to, to make the movie. That's how Hollywood works. It's a 2022 American psychological drama. Mm-hmm. Oh, I thought this was an old movie. No, The Whale. Let's see what it's about. I believe. 600 pound middle-aged Chris, mm-hmm. or Charlie, Mm-hmm. Tries to reconnect with his 17-year-old daughter. The two grew apart after Charlie left his family for another man who later died. Charlie then went on to binge eat out of pain and guilt, which resulted in his current appearance. Wow. Yeah. Brendan Fraser, coming back. And listen, I love Brendan Fraser. Me too. I read an article, but he was a, in Men's Health Magazine once, I believe, and he was talking about basically he got yeah. ex- excused and excised from his career because of unwanted sexual advances and the mm-hmm. consequence of standing up for himself. At least that's what it, the article was about. Yeah. Crazy. Crazy. Hollywood is nasty boots. Nasty boots. And it's, look. It's right here. We're right here. right over there. We are right in the heart of it. You can smell the the shitty boots. Mm -hmm. You know about that song? Into the thick of it? Yeah. No, what is that? It's from TikTok. (laughs) 
<laughs> into the thick of it. People keep trying to get me to do TikToks, and I can't. I won't. I don't want to. It's fine. You got. I've seen your TikToks. I think you're you're curving your own path. See, I'm a trailblazer. Okay, I have some. I have some incredible news for you. I believe it is my my it is my tin foil hat theory that TikTok is undeniable proof that this is um what do you call it the remix civilization the remix that the world the world isn't ending mama she ended it quite a while ago in tiktoks tiktok tiktok is just showing us all what happened mm. do you know what i mean no, no. <laughs> but it sounds good and so i'm trying to be like mm. everything all it's all get mixed up like um, when people say, oh, this kind of TikTok, as in little enclaves or subgenres, they're like, oh, well, where'd you find that? Oh, I was just cruising for, um, you know, a Japanese amputee 600 pound um, pro wrestling TikTok. The whale. The, yeah, the whale. But, but it's, that's way too general. My TikTok is, because, you know, you, 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 I'll, I'll, you I'll, accept the love you believe you deserve on TikTok. Yeah, okay. I get bird TikToks, yeah. uh, makeup, mm -hmm. and re uh, recently I watched a bunch of. Of like Japanese smart home. Wait, is it the thing where the girl, the boyfriend leaves and then she she unboxes? Yes. You know who got me on this? Eden. Eden. Yeah. <laughs> she, she, she showed me. She like pointed my face at at the thing and it was three minutes long. Of course, I, I watched it in rapt, unwavering, no, unflinching like, attention. She did like bird box eyes open. I was literally just like, "You're gonna love this." Yeah. And she's like, "Look at it." But it's always it starts it's with like going on and on. it's a pantomime of like husband leaving yeah. and she has messy hair, glasses, and her house is a mess, and then it's a speed staged cleaning of her own yeah. home it's not and only everything that has a, everything has a gadget oh she opens the door it's filled to a closet there's probably 500 boxes in it and then she it's a uh, razor open display what it is how it works install it move on next for like three minutes it was insane it's really it's insane crazy Would and also wait? the conceit that i have to wait till my boyfriend is gone so that i can get my life together have we talked about overload like um cleaning overload tiktok no. Mary fucking Dugan. Mary overload, fucking Dugan. Overload. It's cleaning TikTok. Thank it's God. not butts. Thank, th thank God there's no sex on TikTok. That'd be disgusting. Oh. Fucking A. Honestly, we need limitations. We do. It's not dick talk. It's it would TikTok. be Cenobites. Yes. It would be Cenobites. Fish hooks in the face. Fish cock hooks, out. Exposed skin. Chattering teeth. Blood dripping. Bone sticking out. Yeah. <laughs> but um, overload TikTok, it's like people like, hey, thanks for my 100,000 subscribers. Today we're going to do a really big overload. They'll plug their toilet with a bunch of sponges and they will pour gallons of undiluted cleaning product into the toilet. So there's so much foam and bubbles and then they'll put on gloves and the TikTok will be them scrubbing the shit out of their toilet. And I saw a comment that was like, so are we just playing in our toilets now? I told you it's the remix. It's the end in time. Mama, it's the remix. It, it, has been over it's over so don't worry about nothing this episode is also sponsored by tiktok yeah hey if you've got three minutes to spare and want to unpack some things go to a tiktok it's so remember the good old days when all we had to worry about was the dick doc or kicking a shoe a kick in a shoe and your outfit <laughs> changes what happened to that it was uh, tiktok used to be a lot more wholesome and now it's it's 30 it's ways to use volcanic lava to incorporate a boyfriend <laughs> into your toilet. Like what? It's so, <laughs> it's just, it's just all jumbled. I don't know. Listen, if you, I'm not complaining though. I'm not complaining. I'm not either. I'm not either. And you know what? I enjoy it. <laughs> no good. I wish, I wish I enjoyed it. I can't get into it. I used to be like, Oh, I have to figure out a good idea. I have to like, and now, oh, no, 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 no. Now you just I do just stuff. do it. Yeah. But that's it the social matter. media. That's the key to any social media. Like, because now that there, we got in at a good time. And we got kind of we got locked in. in at a low rate, super low rate, fixed mortgage. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, no bank shenanigans. And, and so we were able to just kind of like, oh, pick it up when you want and put it down when you want. You know, there's not there's no pressure or anything. And um, and it's just the followers go up and it's whatever. Now, if you're like a drag queen, unless you're doing Mama. Hollywood level transitions and you have an lighting, MBA from more or Wharton School of Business, you're it's like so tough. If you're not actually doing plastic TRS TikTok, mm -hmm. you might as well jump off a building. You just go face down into a dumpster and never come back. Her videos are unreal. I know, but you know that um, Sofia got, Coppola does them now. Mary, <laughs> she's got she's got um, Catherine Bigelow, Rebel Wilson. Yes. <laughs> On sound. She, yeah. Her sound mixing from, um, she has a uh, John Williams, the composer. Script by Diablo <laughs> Cody. Yeah. 
Like, I don't know how she's doing it. I don't know. I, I don't mean, know. Miramax is behind it all. <laughs> she's like, totally. It's crazy. This is Netflix's new big streamer. Is DreamWorks Plastic presents. Plastic DreamWorks Plastic presents. Plastic. With, the, with the collaboration with Pixar. <laughs> the, the hottest two minutes of your life. Yeah. <laughs> They're going to show a bunch of her TikToks as a short before a Pixar movie. Yeah. It'll be like, totally. you go to see Up, and ah. then in the beginning, it's her like... Oh, like and she's she does she's the original upside down yes, smile it. And girl. And she also does this. This is what she does. She's like, you know, I can't do it because I'm not attractive like her. But you know that. Yeah, hot, sexy, hot, sexy. Nudity and then just nudity. And, and it's not nudity. just nudity. It's a the sound effect is a bomb going off. Yes. The screen shakes. Yeah. Yeah. And her Hiroshima. big plastic leg, shiny plastic leg, flips across the Shabow! screen. Bow. She's then in a hooker dental shoe, floss covering her penis. Floss. And her smile is. Yes, so polite it's, and so pretty, and no teeth. Just it's just, and she's like, and the 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 gaze is like, it says so many things without one damn word. It's, it's straight it's through. Wild. It's straight it's through. Wild. It's um all happening backstage at fucking Voss presents the trailer park a trailer park extravaganza or whatever. Mary, she's at an outdoor movie theater, mm. lip syncing for people in their cars, mm. and then meanwhile, and DreamWorks in the in the trailer, she's doing M Night Shyamalan's. <laughs> Girl, I, she gets off stage at Hamburger Mary's and walks <laughs> into a movie set <laughs> to do her TikTok. <laughs> Meanwhile, over at oh, uh, we got Pete repainting every every weekend, repainting the screen, drilling, green. lighting, oh. um, trying to order food, and then two grizzled hats sit in a green hot room, complaining, complaining. Why can't I reach my drink? <laughs> Why can't I reach my drink? My God! Wait, wait, wait. So the Cenobites, the Cenobites. I just want to say one last thing. Uh huh. Um, the uh, there. I think that they just. Needed more. I wanted to know more about them. I will say this. I think it's um, Hellraiser three. That's the one that dives into like who made the boxes. Mm -hmm. And then I think then you only then do you actually start to get who are these people who are the Cenobites. Right. I would love to have known a little more. Yeah. Just give me something. I want to know like so. I, I obviously you know you come to it's, it's like a trick. The game. The box is a trick. It's like a you know the puzzle is a trick. It's like whoops we got you. Such contract. You know I just want to know more. And also like. Um, the girl, I love when she said, save your voice for screaming. So fun. Fun. She really turned it. So fun. And that's very, very gory. The throats played open. Um, it was, it was, it was, it was. Great. What but about you know, the guy at the end getting turned into a son of a bite? Uh, I love that. But you know what I loved? No um, cheap ass jump scares. Just brooding, like scary. Um, you know what I mean? Like, like I screamed when, coming. She, when she was at that um, playground and she's going oh, around she's circle really? and you just see one in the background. Oh, damn. Yeah, it's fierce. It's fierce, Tina. Although they need to start lighting these movies because Mama, I'm th we're all in the dark here. We're all in the 100%. dark. And she has bangs. You know, it what could mean? be like, anything. I have a lantern in my living room trying to see these movies that are just all in black. <laughs> it's like, what are, is it's just found was, footage? I'm doing. I'm at the doc. I'm having the uh, eye doctor come over to dilate my pupils. Seriously, so I like, can watch the movie. Everybody's on Twitter's like, I can't see it. It's like, no shit. It's like, why don't we put a light? It's a movie. It's don't a, they involve lights? I they shoot not. these scenes in the daytime and then make and, them dark in post. And there was some hot men. Well, they're better. Her be. brother who dies first. Are you kidding me? Are you fuck Corbin Blue? Not Corbin Blue. <laughs> Corbin. Corbin. Um, that's it. Corbin Dallas. Uh, Corbin Dallas. Corbin Dallas. What Randy Blue. Randy Blue presents. Randy Blue. Sean. Co Co in addition, in incorporation with Sean, Sean Cody. Cody. I was like, am I into S and M? Because I'm ready to watch these chains tear his skin off. Well, C Clive Barker is famously very gay. Really? And, yeah. And there's all gay shit going on. Makes sense. This was actually. You know what? This isn't even Hellraiser. This it's was originally Eagle. this is originally <laughs> one of your friends only fans Thank and you. they just put some chains in it. They just put a a, a, a surveillance came at the Eagle after <laughs> hours and they're like greater delights await. Want some poppers? Yeah. All right. Well, thank you for joining us again and goodbye. Goodbye. Oh, 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 oh,